The most typical way I use Khan within the classroom is with review. So I will do my direct instruction first for the maybe one to two days. We do guided practice, they'll do independent practice, and then the next day we come back and that's when they're going on to Khan and using those practice lessons on Khan, looking at the videos, just to kind of reinforce what we were learning the previous days. The kids love using Khan as quizzes because I allow them one retake. So if they don't like their score, because they get their score at the end, then they're like, oh, I want to retake it. I like the feature that Khan mixes the questions up so they don't get the same questions again. It's the same concept, but different questions. And usually, I'd say about 85 to 90% of the time, the kids end up getting a higher score when they do the retake. I was like getting like wrong answers all the time, like I can't get this right. But then I saw a couple of videos, saw hints, and then, oh, that's how, that's how I'll get it right next time. Good, perfect. Good job. Khan Academy helps with test prep because there are some select all that apply type questions, there are short answer type questions, and the proof section is really good for that too because it's very difficult to construct on your own some of those types of questions online. And our students do test online, so we're actually prepping them for the test without really telling them that we're prepping them for the test. One way that I use Khan Academy with my classes is as a review material for preparing for a test or an assessment. Um, for example, this morning I started out with a video that was a review of a topic that we've been talking about for a couple of weeks and I had my students watch the video and take notes, anything that they felt was pertinent and important to write down. And once we finished the video, I gave them an article through Khan Academy that directly related to the video and asked them to again to read through and to take any more notes and within the article there are practice problems that they can check along the way and they still have the information right there and they're checking and if they're still needing help they can ask me for help or they can ask their neighbors for help or there's even on Khan Academy there's a button that says I need help and it can help the students right then and there. When you're doing like the problems and the exercise there's like uh, the button that says like help and you can press in it it gives you step by step on what you're doing wrong and you understand it better. The videos helps me understand it more because it has like a step by step like rundown of how to do the problem and like you, you can really understand it better because you can slow down, you can stop the video to where you can understand it. Once they've gone through the article and they've done some practice problems and they've made sure that they've gotten those practice problems correct, then I can lead them to an exercise set, which typically for the material that I'm giving is about four practice problems. And they're aiming to get all four of those practice problems correct because that really shows that they understood the content from both the video and the article and what we've been learning for a couple of weeks. So just in taking practice tests, their math scores have jumped so much. Um, not only their math scores, but I've seen their confidence go up a lot and that ultimately affects their, their academics.